So recently I had a question from someone that wanted to know what is the difference between a yeast infection and a candida infection and a fungus infection. There's just a big confusion on these terms. So let's just kind of go through this. Yeast is a type of fungus, okay? Candida is the most common type of yeast infection. So basically candida is a type of yeast and you have like 20 different types of candida, but it's only the overgrowth that becomes a problem or pathogenic. Normally, we need this yeast, candida, and fungus in our digestive system and around our body. It's part of the normal flora or microbiome. We don't just have friendly bacteria. We have friendly yeast, friendly candida, and friendly fungus, okay? So the location of this candida overgrowth can occur in the vaginal area, the mouth, under the breast, nail bed, armpits, private parts. It likes areas that are moist. So the question is, what creates this overgrowth situation? Well, you guessed it, antibiotics will do it. Sugar will do it because candida and yeast live on sugar. It, it ferments certain types of sugar. Steroids, stress will cause the overgrowth. Estrogen will cause the overgrowth. And this is why women can get a yeast infection during certain times of their cycle. And it's one of the side effects of birth control pills and hormone replacement therapy. And so I just did a, a video on this. Uh, if you have estrogen dominance, uh, iodine, sea kelp is the best remedy. All right, so now what do you do if you have a yeast or candida infection? Well, number one, you wanna increase the stomach acid. It's very, very important. I would recommend something called betaine hydrochloride, okay? I'll put the spelling down below. Uh, take that on a regular basis. Apple cider vinegar is also very important. You can get them in a tablet form. Garlic, essential. Start consuming garlic in your food. I'm not talking about rubbing it on your uh, body uh, because it can burn. Just, just consume it in your food or take it as a supplement. Clove is a good remedy for that as well. Find a really good probiotic. All right, enhance the probiotic, the flora of your gut, okay? And avoid the actual food that feeds these microbes. Avoid all sugar of all kinds. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.